All right, hey everyone, Charlie here. Welcome to another uh, talking time. This is kind of an update video. I haven't done an update video in a while. I thought it might be fun to kind of let you know what has been going on and uh, announce some exciting news for the upcoming season and all that good stuff. So uh, before we start, do me a favor, uh, hit the like button. That's a little gray thumbs up button. You know, you wanna hit it and it'll turn blue, then you stop. Don't hit it again or else it'll turn gray again. It likes being blue. That helps the algorithm out. Um, also share, comment, um, all that counts as engagement and that really helps push the video out to more people. Not only people who are already subscribed and following, but also people who um, aren't, right? Recommended videos and stuff. If you're seeing this on Facebook or Instagram, um, head on over to youtube.com slash Charlie Albright Pianist and subscribe there. And if you're seeing it on YouTube, go to Facebook and Instagram and be sure to sub subscribe and follow me and all that good stuff there too. Um, anyway, and today I just thought I'd be, it'd be neat to kind of give an update video on kind of what's going on um, and, you know, kind of updates on uh, the channel and the YouTube channel and as well as uh, some exciting updates for what's coming ahead in this actual real life concert season. So, um, as you know, about a year ago or so, uh, we'll call it during the illness, um, we, uh, I, I kind of do this experiment where I'm doing a little bit more often YouTube videos, just just light stuff. You know, sometimes it's K-pop, sometimes it's classical music, sometimes it's, uh, uh, you know, just random improvs. Um, some are good, some are, you know, whatever. Just putting out more stuff more often. Um, and, you know, it's been, a, it's been really great. Uh, there has been, a, a, you know, now I can run ads. I've been monetized on it, so I can run ads. Um, it's not a whole lot of money coming in on ads, uh, but... You know, it's, 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 it's somewhat encouraging, I guess. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it is what it is, but, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's neat to be able to, to actually put stuff out there and, and, um, you know, see more and more people watching it. Um, now a few of the videos that really went popular this past year were like, uh, BTS videos. Cause you know, BTS is really, really in right now. So I've done some BTS like, uh, collab videos where I'm like playing along with the music video and some other K-pop stuff too. And some of those kind of catch on and uh, get spread out really fast. So that's really neat. Um, I actually even got to go on a Korean TV, uh, like their nightly national news a few months ago because of one of those. And I was interviewed for that. Um, but anyway, so that's been kind of fun. Also been doing uh, regular uh, practice piano with Charlie. So basically those are live streams, not edited videos, but like I'll sit down for an hour or two or maybe three and uh, live stream practicing. So there'll be people in the audience or viewing it, uh, we'll call it audience, and then I can see what they're saying in the live chat and so I can respond to them. So it's kind of like hanging out and it's neat and stuff. So if you're ever um, uh, wanna do some of that, uh, you know, I, I usually don't plan those ahead of time, but most of the time they're on a Friday, sometimes a Thursday, not every week, maybe every other week, roughly. There's no hard set schedule for that, but generally near the end of the week, um, in the morning my time, which is Pacific time. And um, so if you're subscribed on YouTube, it'll pop up. And if you hit the notification bell, I think it'll like alert you when I do go live. Um, but anyway, that's kind of fun. And even if you don't see them live, you can actually go back and watch. Uh, they, they, they'd convert into a normal video uh, a while later. I think it's like an, it's almost a day after or something. It's at least many hours later. But it becomes a regular video. Then you can watch it as like a normal video. So I think some people find it helpful because it's like it's not it's it's me learning music basically. So it it sounds terrible. Uh, I'm missing all the notes. You know, I'm just like I'm sometimes like counting ledger lines and stuff because I can't sight read. Uh, but it's it's basically that. It's the it's the not it's not you don't watch it to hear like perfect music because it's definitely not perfect. Um, it's uh, me practicing. But that's going to be kind of a fun thing too and that's like a direct way to interact with, uh, with people out there. So as you know, um, the, the concert season has been, this past year and a half or so, has been pretty much non-existent for uh, pretty much, uh, I think, across all types of music, entertainment, shows, that kind of a thing. And, and I don't need to fill you in on that, you all know. It has been a you know a crazy year. Um, so last year, all of last, all of the twenty, all of well, it kind of started. It, so let me rewind a little bit. So concert seasons for classical music kind of follow like a school year. So it's like the 2019, 2020 season, 2020, 21, 21, 22, that kind of a thing. So often starts around like September, October, um, and ends around May, June, something like that. And then there's like some summer stuff sometimes. So last. Uh, so the illness kind of started at the tail end of the 1920 season. So, you know, a lot of the, 
pretty much everything from like March of 2020 on was canceled through 2020 and uh, pretty much through the first half of, of 2021, right? So my next year season, so 21-22, which starts in the fall, um, is looking good. It's looking busy, knock on wood. I'm going to be traveling a lot. I'm going to be... Um, well, not, not, not a lot. I'm doing a lot of concerts where it's like go one place and then give a lot of concerts, which is nice. Um, so I'm, I am going to be traveling and it's going to be a very busy season for me. Um, and I hope I can see some of you out in the audiences in certain places. For the West Coasters um, in, uh, in like Washington State Northwest, I'm giving a couple concerts this, this, uh, this fall, knock on wood. Uh, two in October. One is at the Governor's Mansion. Um, I haven't heard that it's going to be, I haven't heard otherwise, so I'm assuming it's still on. Then again, who really knows, right? Uh, but as of now, it's on for October. And that's a very, very small thing in the executive mansion of uh, uh, of the Washington State Governor's Mansion. And um, so I think that I think that those usually, well, in the past, they've usually like sold out. Uh, and it's a very small thing. It's like 100 people, maybe 150. And I think they have like a list. So it, it's not... I don't think it's like open to the public outside of like their mailing list. It's like a very small thing. But a few days after that, I'm going to be uh, up in, uh, I'm going to be over in Tacoma. And oh my goodness, I am uh, getting messages. Uh, I'm going to be over in Tacoma and uh, uh, at, with Symphony Tacoma. So I'm going to be coming back there for I think my third concert there with them or something. Anyways, I'm, I'm uh, the, the conductor, Sarah Ionidis, is a good friend of mine. And so we're going to be playing the Shostakovich Second Concerto. This is kind of a rescheduled concert from last March, no, May, March or May of 2020. We were going to play Nadia Boulanger. Um, that didn't happen because of the illness. It's rescheduled now for this October at Pantages Theater, but we're not playing the Nadia Boulanger. We've switched it to uh, Shostakovich because of, I think it's because of um, the number of people required to perform at once. So it's like a smaller, um, a smaller orchestra required uh, for that. So we'll see how it happens, but it's, it's a great piece. One of my favorites. I've played it a bajillion times. Um, you'll, you'll like it. So I uh, hope to see you there. That's in October. November, I'm going to be off to the East Coast again, back to uh, the Boston area. Um, not Boston proper. I'm going to be at the Rockport Music Festival. So in Rockport at that really, really cool um, concert hall. I think it's called the Shaolin Lu Concert Hall. It has a, a huge wall of glass behind the uh, the piano. And um, basically it overlooks the ocean. So it's like the concert hall and then the back of the stage is the ocean. It's pretty sweet. Um, in... No, as in December, I am going to be giving like eight or nine concerts with the Philly Pops for the Christmas thing at Verizon Hall in Philadelphia. So I'm going to be in Philadelphia for a few weeks, giving a whole bunch of concerts with them. Um, other things uh, later on in the year, in January, I'll be down in uh, in Florida, and uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to be in Mobile, Alabama, this coming season. I'll be, we're going to be doing the, uh, the, what am I playing? I'm playing the Greek Concerto uh, with Scott Speck. He's one of my good friends as well. Uh, I'm going to be back with the Philly Pops. I'm going to be back with the Philly Pops again in the spring playing the Gershwin Rhapsody in Blue. Um, and uh, the last time I played with, well, so uh, in the December set of concerts with the Philly Pops, I'm playing with uh, uh, David Charles Abel. And he is a good friend of mine. We played together last with the Boston Pops, um, and he's now the uh, he's now the the principal conductor at the Philly Pops, which is awesome. So we're going to be working together there for a whole lot. And so, anyways, it, it's it's looking it's looking busy. I'm also going to be in I think Milwaukee sometime next year. So it's going to be busy but fun. It'll be great to be kind of back on the road, um, and looking forward to it. Um, so the, the year has been, you know, kind of crazy for everyone, but um, it's it's looking uh, it's looking positive in terms of the performing. Knock on wood, and um, in terms of the YouTube channel, it's been growing. It's been doing good. Um, you know, I'm not raking in the bajillions of views, but we're we're we're, we're keeping going at it at least for now. Um, and that's about it, I think. I mean, um, I mean personally, Stella's doing great. Um, the weather is great. My lawn, uh, we went through a heat wave here in the Seattle area uh, a few weeks ago. And so my lawn in the front is still kind of um, struggling with that. Uh, it went dormant. 
Uh, I'm, I'm convinced it's not dead. I'm hoping it's not dead. I don't think it's dead. I think it's just dormant. And, um, but yeah, um, doing well, <clears throat> excuse me, doing well and uh, looking forward to getting back on the road uh, this fall. So I hope to see you all there. I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Keep subscribed. Keep subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Keep subscribed if you're already subscribed. Keep subscribing if you're not already already subscribed, I mean. And uh, let me know in the comments what, uh, you know, how you guys are doing, what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of. Um, yeah, this YouTube thing is just kind of for fun. And uh, yeah, so I hope you're all doing well. Stay safe and healthy. And I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.